If you're stuck in a trauma bond right now, you are not alone. So many people come to me as a hypnotherapist, EMDR specialist to try and break free. But the biggest thing that I see people doing is this. Now I'm going to break down in a minute exactly why you're stuck in a trauma bond and how to break free. But first of all, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Doug Womack. And at the end of this video, I will be giving you a resource to break free from trauma bonds. So the reason we get stuck in trauma bonds is because of this cycle. What we do is we get stuck in this cycle of negativity. We start to believe that we are not good enough. The narcissist has implanted this. They've implanted it in our thoughts. They've implanted it in our beliefs. We have wounds that are unhealed and we have trauma that hasn't been processed or floating around within us. Now put this on top of a culture that is narcissistic or we live in a culture because we're, we've lived with a narcissist. This is the narcissistic culture. We end up getting so many lies fed to us, so many stories. Now as human beings, when we go to school, we are told accept stories. We are believing of stories. We're animals that love stories. Stories give us meaning and help us make sense of the world. And if there's a story, hence why culture works so well, if there's a story that is in the, in the culture, the cult that we've gone into, we take it as it must be true. Now the problem with this is when we have negative stories, negative uh, self-belief, and we have these negative thoughts, on top of the wounds and the trauma, we start to feel rubbish. We start to feel horrible. We start to feel like we're not good enough. We start to feel like I can't do this. And we have these negative emotions. Now, emotions lead to us taking action. Now, often this can lead to negative actions like drinking and doing self-harming things or negative inaction because, again, action is not doing anything. Sometimes we think the best way is to not do anything because we're trying to keep ourselves safe. This is just a coping mechanism. It doesn't mean you are lazy. In fact, so many times procrastination, so many times self-sabotage, so many times just not showing up for ourselves or fear of what will happen if we move forward or fear of success is all because we have these negative feelings that come from these negative beliefs and that is all a negative self-identity. So the way to break free from the trauma bond is to change this cycle. The way to change this cycle is to change who you believe you are. Change your identity because the old you is going to do the same things. <clears throat> the old you follows the same patterns. Patterns keep repeating. What we need to do is change the thoughts, reframe the thoughts. We need new beliefs. We need to heal our wounds and we need to reprocess the trauma. That way we can then create a new culture, create a new environment to live in. And from there we can create new stories and live out our new life, our new stories, create new chapters of our book, chapters that don't involve the narcissistic X. Now, if you want a resource, just type resource down below and I will give you a free resource which will break down exactly how you can start to begin this journey to break free from the toxic relationship.